kita tidak sebut uh, apa ni minor sexual minority group ke tidak tapi kita sebut situ sexual orientation so ini sebagai draft i mean itu itu situ our proposal duduk bawah gender bahawa kita tidak boleh uh, mendiskriminasikan seorang itu atas asas jantina now dalam jantina itu kita sebut sexual orientation antara lainnya sebab yang kata jantina tu apa a b c d so salah satu punya ialah sexual orientation ini saya perlu jelaskan uh, tidak ada kena mengena langsung mengiktirafi LGBT it has nothing to do at all with that tetapi dia hanya menyatakan bahawa seseorang tidak boleh di diskriminasikan atas uh, kecenderungan seksual dia dan ia bukan bermakna undang-undang ini mengiktirafi uh, uh, orientasi seksual seseorang yang dimaksudkan sudah tentu seksual orientasi ini LGBT lah uh, sebab dua benda yang berbeza um, kalau seseorang bekerja di Malaysia kini contohnya tiba-tiba dia dapati dia seorang gay lalu kerana itu dia dipecat itu bagi kami ialah uh, satu yang tidak adalah okay? so ini menyatakan kamu tak boleh buat begini tapi apa yang dia buat itu bukan masalah saya Okey, so itu dua benda yang berbeza ya. Bukan saya saya pertahan hak dia sebagai pekerja tidak dipecat bermakna saya sokong dia punya perbuatan dia. Itu dua benda yang yang berbeza. Kata dalam Islam sendiri kita tengok kalau saya mengetahui seseorang itu ada sexual orientation tertentu seperti LGBT, saya belum masih boleh menyatakan dia pasti terlibat dalam perbuatan yang kita anggap sonsang itu. Hanya setelah dia terlibat dalam perbuatan itu, barulah boleh kita kata dia melakukan kesalahan. Dan ketika itu, anda dipecat bukan kerana anda gay, tapi anda dipecat kerana anda dapati menyalahi kondak kerja di sini, terlibat dengan bagian-bagian-bagian. So, dia at the same time protecting equal rights, tapi at the same time does not mean recognizing their behavior. You are right. You are right. So there. Like, there have been complaints from the LGBT group of Pandit. Yeah. If NUCC or the committee boils down to this pressure, it would defeat the purpose of the entire bill to, you know, to protect the minorities. Well, <coughs> I think there's one thing that we want to share with the listeners that um, this bill, as much as the content and the substance is important. Uh, we also feel that the process is also important. What I mean by process is that we want everyone to be involved on both sides, on both extremes. Whether they are the pro-LGBTs or whether they are the uh, anti or anti-LGBTs, we welcome their point of view. And at the end of the day, these are the inputs that uh, we will get to have a clear picture of what the Malaysian people want. At least to a certain extent. I wouldn't say that it uh, represents, but uh, at least uh, to a certain extent, we have taken a, a consultative uh, approach, and that's what NUCC is all about, National Unity Consultative Council. Uh, I would not give guarantee that this clause will remain or will not remain. That will only depends on our notes to the minister in charge of law to take uh, the wise decision whether to remove or not to remove. And we do not have any uh, problem with that. We have given the choice for the public to comment. And that depends on whether... Because, you see, uh, I mean, as a lawmaker, myself as a lawmaker, I may not agree on certain clause, but uh, to say that if I don't agree with certain clause that I should reject the whole clause is, I think, uh, you know, you are, you are acting overboard. So we might tolerate one or two clause, which maybe the Malaysian public is not prepared to accept. But 
At the same time, uh, we want to achieve the greater goal of uh, introducing an anti-discrimination law in Malaysia.